Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN that uh, NBA 2K16 my career with Troy Jenkins as we're getting ready for episode number two and we're getting ready for two more games his uh, final two games here in his uh, career here in high school basketball so uh, in the first episode we've seen the two games there he won those and of course uh, you know, not a high-scoring game or not not a pressure-intensing game. You know, not something that will uh, help. Uh, well, I mean, I guess in some ways it will help his, I guess, his way of picking and choosing his college. Because uh, so far he has three colleges that are looking at him. he got Georgetown. He has uh, University of uh, or uh, Villanova, Villanova University and also... Uh, Louisville. So he has those three schools very well known for their basketball uh, history and winning national championships. Uh, in this episode we'll see him uh, play in the last two games. He'll play one more regular season game and of course the high school championship game. Uh, if you followed other YouTubers who've d who have done a series here on uh, NBA 2K16 uh, you know that you know we pretty much go to the high school championship game and see how well you do in that and then uh, you have more offers from more colleges uh, and you from there decide what school you're going to go to so in the last episode I left you guys a, <clears throat> a voting there on that uh, definitely check uh, if, you, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it yet uh, check, go there check it out vote on which uh, those three schools you would go to or maybe you wouldn't go to one of those schools there uh, let me know down in the comment section of where you guys would go if you had the opportunity to play college basketball for any college uh, that you uh, that you have your heart set on. So we're gonna go against the Fairfield Tornadoes here. Uh, it's gonna be game number two. Actually, no, he. Okay, yeah, I was, okay, yeah, I was to say. Wait a minute. I was there thinking. I'm like, oh, maybe there is four games, but no, there's only three. So in the last episode, he only you see him in one game there. So. We'll see you in game two here. It's a uh, crosstown rivalry between two schools there. And there you see some background information about uh, Troy and what he's done so far here for his basketball career. So we're going to get into another cutscene here of uh, CC and Vic. And then we'll get into the action once again as we play game two here against the Fairfield Tornadoes here in today's episode. You gonna just find your seat this time? Hey, see. Are you taping me? Nah, I'm 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 making phone calls, yo. I'm a networker. You know me. That's just what I do. Hey, yo, Freak. Hey, we're gonna make it rain tonight, baby. Woo! Yeah, Freak, let's get that win. Look. Coo -coo. Hey, get them hundreds out. Get them hundreds out for your boy. <laughs> Okay, so we've seen that cutscene there, and of course, uh, Vic and Cece going at it there. Uh, you know, Vic, uh, of course, you know, he's best friend of uh, Freak, as they uh, will we'll learn on later on how you got that nickname there. Uh, if you've been watching these uh, other series there, that's his nickname that he gives, uh, his parents give him. But yeah, we kind of learn about uh, him and about what. Um, he's all about as you uh, you probably have seen from other videos uh, of course I have been trying my best not to watch other uh, my career players uh, from other youtubers here on uh, YouTube uh, some of them I've I watched the first couple episodes and it's pretty uh, you know pretty cool their characters and what the positions are playing so like that and then um, I think I've watched uh, I think a couple of them uh, to the point where they get to college. That's where I'm kind of at right now in my college career, or getting close to the end of my college career. Um, and, you know, there's some people that stayed around for, you know, the extra you know year to play basketball to kind of get more 
uh, experience and the other guys went the whole one and done and went to the uh, NBA as quick as they could so um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet because uh, I'm not at that point right I'm not at that point right now uh, with uh, Troy but uh, for the most part here it's been a lot of fun playing that actually it's been a lot of fun playing this game uh, period uh, I've been playing uh, my career or my uh, my team uh, kind of build my own team and also uh, playing um, uh, uh, franchise mode uh, so that's and that's not going to be something here you'll see on the channel that's something I'm just doing on my own free time and having fun with the game and whatnot uh, but there you see we lead it 15 to 4 after the, the first half uh, and like I said, I think I said I mentioned this in the last video. I wish they would put more situations here um, when it comes to playing the game instead of having these two uh, quick two-minute quarters. Uh, hopefully next year they'll uh, eliminate this and just have you start off. Uh, kind I kind of wish they would do what they did last year's game, where you were kind of a free agent and you uh, tried out for teams and see what teams would uh, would give you a contract and then go from there yeah you, know, you gotta kind of prove yourself by doing certain things on the court um you know both offensively and def defensively and then if you you know met those objection um objections um then you know you could you know potentially be on the team um or in another case you could just do just start off from co college and then uh kind of do the one done thing or you know you stay out four years or you stay you know your first two years something like that and then go from there uh, maybe even I would even say even add the D League uh, to it you know um, maybe you, that's another way you can go to get into the NBA is kind of go through the D League you know be a uh, um, you know unfree you know unsigned or un, you know free agent un, you know, undrafted free agent and do it that way go from uh, the you know get from the D League and work your way uh, by doing that, and, and then you know, eventually go to the NBA that way. I think that'll be kind of cool to see, and be a lot of fun to see those different D League uh, teams there, because they got some pretty cool teams um, in those uh, D Leagues. If you ever seen those games, right? Matter of fact, I think they're on right now on uh, NBA TV. You guys can, if you guys get a chance to check those out, check those out. There are a lot of fun, cool, fun leagues, uh, fun teams there. They got some pretty f uh, funny names and. Um, pretty, pretty, some pretty unique names I wouldn't mind seeing in the actual league. As you see, a nice dunk there from Jenkins. He's, uh, I will say I did, that's one area in the game uh, here. Uh, I've been using a lot of my VC that I have, and I've been uh, up in those uh, certain categories there for him. And uh, that's one of them, the dunks. I, I really want him to become a dunker, um, just be a, just a really good powerhouse, uh, you know, Playmaker, uh, you know, as a point guard, you know, making plays just not for himself but others, getting others involved and getting uh, assists and stuff like that. We'll see that more and more here as we get uh, into uh, more of his career here as we get to college and stuff. But, oh, he gets rejected there. Uh, actually hits off the rim there, actually. Getting, uh, that was pretty much the rim rejecting him that time. But we'll see here with just under a minute. It is uh, 24 11, and looks like we could have a victory here. And we could uh, go walk away here and get ready to go to our final game, which is uh, one of three. I thought I put two, I thought there was two games in the first episode, but it's actually in this episode. Uh, you only play three games in the college. And then, like I said, that's one of the things I kind of wish they uh, didn't do in this year. I kind of wish they would have. Uh, did something like they did last year or may had you start off in college and then go from there but we'll take a look here and see his stats here and what he did for the game 19 points one assist two steals there you see eight of 12 there on the field and uh, let's see three th three three pointers he had eight minutes he played of course you know two minute quarters there that's <laughs> you know he's gonna pretty much play all all game long so the uh, Park Side Dragons win that one again, and it looks like they're having a pretty good year here. And we'll see what college offers he will get as we're going to move on here in just a bit and see some colleges, some well known colleges here, some well prominent colleges here are going to be on his list. Check it out. We 
can guarantee you three things, Freak. The ability to start and play significant minutes as a freshman, national media exposure, and the best coaching staff at the collegiate level. We at Arizona pride ourselves in excellence. And if you join the Wildcat Nation, not only will you be making a great decision, but quite frankly, it will get you to the professional level. Andre Iguodala, Sean Elliott, Steve Kerr, Jason Terry, and Damon Stoudemire. That's only a few of our great former Wildcats. Whatever decision you make, make the one that's best for you. And that's Arizona. All right, we'll see you in the fall to help us win our second championship. <laughs> what does it mean to be a Jayhawk? In a word, excellence. I'm reminded of the great Wilt Chamberlain, Kirk Heinrich, Andrew Wiggins, and the future Hall of Famer Paul The Truth Pierce. Careers that are a testament to the excellence of the University of Kansas. Freak, you deserve the best. That's Kansas. You deserve an enriched college experience. That's Kansas. You deserve to be a winner. That's Kansas. Our offer is clear. We await your decision in the next few weeks. If you have any questions, please contact me. Thanks for your time. I'm not gonna waste your time, Freak. I know this is a busy time for you. Schools are throwing the great alumni at you. Coaches are promising you playing time. Potential teammates are pitching you the perks of the respective universities. I get it. Not my first rodeo. I'm gonna shoot it to you straight. We are excellent and proven at University of Connecticut. And we feel you'd be a great fit for our program. From Ray Allen, Rip Hamilton, Rudy Gay, Kemba Walker to Shabazz Napier, We've had a great deal of perfect fits. So excuse me if I'm confident you will make the right choice. This journey will begin if you select us, but it will never end. This navy blue runs deep. We wish you well, and we await your decision. Okay, so Troy gets some pretty good offers here. Kind of look at some of the offers there. University of or Arizona, University of Kansas. All right, yeah, my, my team right there. So I... Uh, dream school, but my school that I root for, uh, as I do live in Can the state of Kansas. Uh, so yeah, Kansas there, and then the final one I believe was the uh, University of Connecticut. So you got UConn there. So some well, honestly, really great schools there, especially Kansas. I mean, that's a school that I would love to play for. I would honestly, I would hands down, uh, without any question, I would definitely. Bill Self gave me a. a um, academic uh, scholarship, I'd be like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> I wouldn't even care if I'd be played any minutes. I, I'd be all for it. Because uh, I've, I've actually been on that campus before and been to the locker rooms stuff like that. So, I mean, for me, I'm just a homer. That's the team I would definitely sign for. So, now we're going to play against the Phenoms in the state championship as this is going to be the final game of the season here and got a big opportunity here to bring a home a champion state championship now for Parkside uh, High School as the Dragons will go against the Phenoms and I believe there's the town they're from is called like Parts Unknown or something like that I thought it was kind of funny uh, seeing that here <laughs> in this video so we'll see here Freak will lead his team to the championship here and we'll see the defending champions, the Phenoms, here in this game. And we'll see if we can defeat them here coming up. So let's get into the action right now. Let's get to the state championship game and bring home a championship title for Parkson. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know my boy's about to take it. I need you to be on your best yeah, behavior me. tonight. This is an important game for free. Come, come on, bro. Vic, I'm serious. CC, my dear. Now, I know how important this game is. I'm just I'm just trying to make moves, yo. Ricky, he's going to take it all the way. He's leading this, all right? Business. Come on, freak. Show them no mercy. Hey, we got this up, title. Up, Come on. Up. We got this, my boy. We got this. Come hey, we on. take it state, man. We take it state. Hey, he take it state, though. Vic, come on. Let's throw some. Okay, okay, okay. My man. Vic, I'm serious. All right, Let's go. Yo, she up on me like hard right now, though. Action 
here as he plays here in his championship game of his high school career. And you see there, missed that shot there. He gets uh, hit with a technical uh, blocking foul there. So he'll get uh, on that one. And now we'll see here. Just uh, still no score here. And again, we're playing two mid fours. Uh, nothing really to get all excited about as he misses that shot there. But, uh, like I said, this is uh, just, I guess, I guess this is the way to introduce a new way to introduce your character and how he does high school or something like that. Those three other ways I mentioned, you know, they could do it again like they did in 15, where they have you come in as a uh, undrafted free agent, you try out for a team. Uh, and then uh, you go from there. You know, you go or you know, just try for a team. And you do 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 well to try out, and then you get a bench position there on the uh, NBA team. Or uh, do you know start off at college? You know, start off as a college freshman, play a couple of games. Uh, Same, you know, all this being going on. Both. You know, put some objectives up there where you have to do a certain thing to, to, you know, to secure your spot on the team or something. Like that. Put some of the pressure situations, you know. Let's go, Dragons! Come on! Team's down by 10. There's five minutes left in the game. Side out! You know, you know, make so many shots. Um, you know, in the two minute time span that you get to be on the court however long you're on the quarter or whatever. So, you know, just, you know, kind of give you the, you, you know, that helps you get you know, the XP and not to mention uh, your draft stuff. Uh, if it's, you know, you the objective for that, uh, for that particular uh, time or if you're, you know, something doing like, you know, you can those on your draft pick to maybe, Early third round pick may move you to a mid round, you know, mid second round. Something like that. Or maybe you can get a third round and you're going to have a top two. So that is something I like to see uh, when it comes up to next year's game. As uh, we see here, he was a 9 to 1. And like I said, low scoring game here. And, yeah, I, I I was done on the think of it. I was gonna start the series off in high school or just way too early to college. Uh, and I said, you know, I just go ahead and show up some shots. Yeah. So that one, that's gonna be a good job. That's gonna be a good, good play. I'm just gonna be a good one. That's gonna draw a foul there. So he's gonna be able to run a nice job there for Jenkins. And the ski is gonna go on the line. Now, I will say the really cool thing is if you do. I guess if you, I mean, if they did do the, um, or actually, well, yeah, I think, well, actually, a bad thing about it for me would be, uh, the whole, uh, swing and this one, and you have to decide what school you're going to go to. I, I really do enjoy that, uh, because it gives you some options of what schools you can go to. Uh, it doesn't give you all the options of all the schools, but it gives you a handful of, you know, a decent amount of schools that would offer you a, uh, scholarship to play. For them, uh, for, I would wish they did add more small schools. You know, they do have done that. There's some other, you know, Syracuse, uh, but you know, some smaller uh, D1 schools, and um, you know, maybe even some, I mean, there's even been guys been drafted for like a lot of Division II schools, I mean, I can't think of any of them, and I know locally here, there's been some uh, players, of course, uh, that have been actually had the opportunity to play, you know, play on a D2 school, you know, um, draft or anything. Got you know, played in the D League for a year or two, and kind of bought their game. And so, um, you know, 
Or, you know, they can go back in years past like they had before and they just create a player that uh, you put your player in a draft and um, you know, you'll see from the draft. Take it away! Take it away! Getting that foul, so it's not an and one, but he will get two shots there. Uh, but yeah, um, I just hopefully next year, you know, right, that's now, kind of the pitfalls take of a having a two short shots. cycle of games where, um, you know, you got something you can work with for that, for, you know, for that game, and then uh, you're pretty much back in the drawing board trying to figure out what you're going to do next year. At the same time, you know, getting feedback from your your fan, the fans of the games, and like that, so they want to see that sure. They should be able to get a game. Uh, so hopefully, you know, 2K17 will have something. You know, something that will be a joy. Honestly, honestly, so far, the story in this, you know, I've at least seen, and at least I've heard so far from people playing this. You know, uh, it's a lot of fun, and, and it gets even better when you start playing uh, more of your NBA games. So. Uh, like I said, we're going to try to get through the college here. So that will be the next episode. We're going to see his decision. Uh, he'll actually have some more schools here. Uh, scholarship. And so he dunks that one. Nice job. Uh, Jenkins has 18 points at this point in the game. As uh, he's just like that. So there you see he's pretty much a one-man shot here as he knocks this one down. Nice. That's three. And it's now 21 points now for him. Here is a uh, Kanagan shooter there to fit that one. They uh, end up uh, getting, uh, well, no, they still got one more quarter left to go. We'll get to that here. We'll get to the final six minutes here in this. And as you see, trying to draw a play here up for him. Trying to block, uh, I should say, down another one there. Nice play. I think that's down 24 points for him. As we see a steal. And they're going to try to push this ball. As they get this one to Jenkins. And Jenkins is going to try to get his one of his here to get an assist. And so, um, you know, playing this, like I said, has been a lot of fun. So, see how that's a push the foul there on Jenkins. The final seconds here, we're beating by 13 at this point. Um, so this is this kind of this these high school games. Uh, kind of point of this and kind of going much better. I just wish there was a lot more opportunity. Play it, play it, you know, play you a little tougher here. Put you in particular there where you have to. They win it, they move on and park the side of the champion, state championship now. And uh, we'll see here in a few minutes of where he's going to get a, ch a chance to go to as he has some more opportunities now from several uh, schools. As he had, there you see 24 points, 2 rebounds, 2 steals, 9 of 14 on the field. There you see field goals 2 for 2, 3 pointers 4 for 4, 8 minutes in the game, 3 turnovers and two fouls there for him so we'll see what troy is going to do here coming up here in just a bit as uh, we're going to see some more college recruiting here in just a bit and we'll see where he's going to go to as uh, he has a couple more offers here from a couple more college uh, coaches take a look thanks to you and your family very much for taking the time to meet with me i'm going to be honest with you We've been watching your game tape for years now, and you are our highest priority. We want to develop you from the excellent player that you already are into an all-American player and college legend. Everyone knows about the Fab Five, but with your skills, 
we think that you can break the records currently held by the great Wolverine Glenn Rice. Make history, freak. Join the rich maize and blue tradition in Ann Arbor and become a Wolverine. We look forward to your decision. Go blue. Like the sun that shines over the great state of California, we have been a banner of excellence in college basketball. Our ideologies are rooted in the core of what comprises the DNA of who we are at UCLA. 11 times champions. You are destined for greatness. And your destiny should lead you to a grand stage. And trust me, no stage is more visible than the city of Los Angeles and UCLA. We will have your jersey hanging in your locker, waiting for you to claim your spot amongst the stars. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Like I said, what are you doing? Anyways, where is Freak? Now, CC, you know your brother. He loves to make a grand entrance. He gets it from your mother. She's always showing up late for work. I arrive when my services are needed and not before. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I'm just explaining where he gets it from. Mm -hmm. Was I missed? Boy, where were you? I was taking out the trash, mama. You're such a good son. I'm gonna miss you when you go off to college. Yeah, who's gonna do the trash detail? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry about that, Pop. Cece could take over. Uh-uh, not so fast. I'm going wherever you going. Someone has to keep you on track, and them college chicks off. That's right, Cece. You help tutor them. I'll take care of the young ladies. <laughs> Vic, go home. Why are you even here? Yo, because I'm the cameraman. You know what? Speaking of which, Freak, you ready? Hey. These young college hotties are already hitting me up, man. Oh, just tell me in the world which university. Vic, in due time. Relax, brother. Yeah, Vic, shut up. Freak was born ready. Now make sure you don't cut off my head, because I got to look for <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm ready. I'm ready. Vic, you rolling? Rolling. Uh, hi, everyone. I'd like to thank everyone, from my coaches to my teammates. You guys taught me the importance of teamwork and working together, so thank you. I'd like to give a big shout-out to my main man, Vic, holding the camera down. I ain't going to ask where you got the camera, but thanks. <laughs> I'd like to thank my loving parents for sacrificing so much to provide for me and my sister. And I'd like to thank my twin, Cece, for being a great role model in my life. Uh, this has been an extremely tough decision. Each school was carefully considered, but I have finally decided to choose. Okay, so there you see the schools that he is going to have a chance to attend here. As you see, you guys, uh, Connecticut Huskies, KU, the Jayhawks, woo woo. My favorite team, my uh, team, my home, my team that I root for, my favorite college basketball team. Uh, got the uh, George George. Ugh, <laughs> I can't even say it. Georgetown Hoyas, Texas Longhorns. You got the Wolverines. You got the Wildcats. You got Louisville Cardinals. You got Villanova Wildcats, and you got the uh, UCLA Bruins. So. Uh, I already know where he's going to go at, and you guys probably already know where he's going to go at, because uh, I kind of I kind of gave it away where he was possibly could go. But I want to know uh, who you guys think I, or who you guys think he should go to, and uh, why. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and again, I'll ask you guys a question here. I'll leave a poll question here. Which of these schools would you guys want to go to? Um, for school, uh, I'll leave, I'll just name it, put five schools there on there, and uh, let you guys decide what school um, that you guys would attend to if you had this opportunity to go to uh, whatever school you wanted to go to with uh, with with the choices that you have right here. So, like I said, I know what schools, uh, what school he's gonna go to, and like I said, if you've been paying attention to the video, you probably know which school he's gonna go to. So uh, we'll see where he goes to in the next episode. As we uh, see and, and uh, try to decide where he's going to start his career here in the uh, athletic competition of uh, collegiate sports uh, here in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to hit that subscription button and subscribe for more NBA 2K16, My Career with Troy Jenkins. And we'll see how his career will begin. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and tell me the links are down below in the description. And as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.